Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now let's understand what you will see when you log into the firewall for the first time. So let me log into the firewall. So as soon as you log into the firewall, the first impression display you see is called dashboard. So technically, according to Fortinet, it's called NOC. Or network operation center and they also call it responsive layout so why is this called responsive layout just because the dashboard layout can be changed as per the customer convenience so you can manage the widgets you can resize them horizontally or vertically you can change the color theme according to your preference also you can change the dashboard layout according to your preference. Let me show you how you can do this. Let's say you don't like this green color theme and want to bring something else which can give you a pleasant vibes to your eyes. So just click here and you can go to the setting using the shortcut option and scroll the page little bit down and here you have the option theme so there are a lot of themes available so you can choose the theme which you like let's say i'm going to choose graphite and then just click on apply and it will apply the theme to you as said you can customize the dashboard layout according to you like you want to see important data on top and rest of the data can be anywhere on the dashboard. So let me go to the dashboard. And here you can see the CPU widgets. And I want this CPU widgets to be on top. So just drag this CPU widgets on top. And that's it. Also, I said you can resize the widgets horizontally or vertically. So I can just simply go here and resize them to the full screen. And if you go there once again and you can resize them according to you. So now it's a very small icon. So you can change the size or resize any widgets as per your preference. See how simple is this? Before we talk about more, let me explain few things about the dashboard. So when you first time log into the firewall, so the basically the developer has designed the dashboard in two colors. Let me restore the color once again. Go to theme, where is theme, theme is here and share it. Done. Let me go to the dashboard once again. The left hand side panel actually has menu and sub menu. So here you can see dashboard. Under the dashboard, you have multiple options. Similarly, you can see we have menu which is called network, and under this, we have multiple options. And on the other side of the panel, you can see some widgets and these widgets will provide you some information like this is a CPU widgets where you can monitor the CPU of the 48 firewall. You can check the license information. You can check the system information and so on. Now let's move ahead and see what else we can see on the dashboard. On top, you can see the green color strip. This green color strip generally called header. And we can see lot more small icons on top of it. So here you can see three vertical lines. And it is basically used to expand your dashboard. So when you click on it, it will expand your dashboard. And when you click on it again, it will resize your dashboard. Apart from this job, it does not have any more things to do. Now let's move to the next icon. I'm talking about this. 
and that is absolutely a search bar so this is basically used to search the element that you wanted to configure but unfortunately you forgot the path for that element and now you are looking the path for that so i would say like you wanted to create a user however you are not sure from where it can be created so just click on this icon and type the keyword user and then enter as soon as you press the enter it will display the results for you and you can choose the appropriate option to create users make sure you choose the correct option also one more thing i want to tell you please keep in mind your search won't always fulfill your requirement the search can only be applied for specific keywords which is available in fortigate firewall as much as hands on experience you get on the fortigate firewall you will got to know how your keyword will be useful for your search option all right now our next icon is this we can see the greater than symbol along with an underscore symbol when you click on this symbol you can get the command line session for the firewall let me click on it see here you got the cli access for the firewall so you don't need to open a separate command line terminal using a third party software like putty terra term secure crt or any other software just click on this icon and you are good to go with the command line session this inbuilt cli terminal can be used to fetch any information even you can configure any feature for the firewall let's say i want to see interface ip address and the status of the interface so you can execute the command get system interface let me execute this command for you so the command is get system interface see how easy it is we can see the ip address 192.168.1.70 which is assigned on port number 1 and it is a slash 24 ip address and the status is up and few other informations also you can find few more options with the inbuilt cli terminal like here you can see clear the console the second one is copy to the clipboard here you have option record cli commands and you can download the session let me show you how do they work so basically if i click on this one it will clear the session or the console let me execute the command once again you get system interface so basically it clears the terminal screen for you let me click one more time on it see it has cleared the terminal screen for you let me execute one more command you get system status and let's talk about this icon copy to clipboard so you can click on this option copy to clipboard it will copy the entire data of the terminal session and then you can use the notepad or notepad plus plus and use the paste option of the notepad to copy entire data of the terminal session hope it's clear for you let's assume that you are on a troubleshooting call and want to record each activity then you can click on this record button to save all your session activities and later on you can stop the recording basically as soon as you stop the recording it will copy the session into a clipboard and we can save the data anywhere either notepad or notepad plus plus or wordpad please keep in mind it won't record the screen or entire cli session or output it will only record the commands which you execute 
let me show you how exactly it works so let me click on this record button and execute the command get system dns get system interface and the last one is get system status now i'm going to stop the recording so here you can see entire data has been copied to clipboard now i'm going to open a notepad and use the control v option to paste the entire data see whatever command you have executed on the firewall those commands gets automatically stored in the recorded session now let's check out the other option so let me close this session again and open a new one now this time i'm going to execute the same command and get system interface get system dns get system status so basically what does this feature work or what does this uh, icon does it will download the session or the console output for you so here you have the command which you have executed on the cli so the first command which we executed is get system interface the second one is get system dns and the other one is get system status so i think this is the best feature i would say because during the call or maybe troubleshooting call it will help you to know what command you have executed during the call and what was the output you have received from the device all right let's explore more so i'm going to close this notepad and close this session because we don't have any more information here so here you have one more icon which is related to help and you can get the help for online you can go to the video tutorial you can go to the release overview you can go to check the tips and tricks for 40 os 7.2 the next one is is a notification and it will tell you what are the pending tasks for this specific device so if it is related to the license then you can see that evaluation license in use or your license has been expired or you need to renew your license and since i had already registered this 40 gate firewall to 40 manager so right now the 40 manager is offline so it says unable to connect 40 manager so basically these notifications keep you always aware or up to date about any unusual activity that is related to the firewall our next option is username and under the username we can see the platform information 40 gate vm 64 kvm yes we are running kvm image on vmware we can also see build number or the firmware version apart from this we can see system related options like whether you want to reboot the system you want to shut down the system and fabric management related information or process monitor we can find configure related also so you want to take backup restore revision or you have script something and you also get the option to change the password so when you click on it you have to tell the updated password to 40 gate so that when you next time log into the firewall you must use your updated password and last not the least it's logout so when you log out means you don't have control on 40 gate firewall i think in today's session this much information is enough otherwise this video will become so long and i know you won't like the long and the lengthy video session so guys one simple request please subscribe to the channel if the video content is worth watching 
I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.